everyone, welcome back to Beeson Fields Home Learning. Today we're going to be learning how to look after our pet. Now my pet is Frank and he is a dog and he's a special type of dog. He's called a pug and that's the type of dog he is. Now you might have recognised Frank from some of our other home learning videos. Um, he's in the one that we I'm reading a story about the three little pigs so you can see him on there too. But we're going to be learning about how to look after our dog. So as I said before, Frank is a pug and I bet you've seen a lot of pugs everywhere on cars and on buses and even on bags and packed lunch boxes, boys and girls. So this is my Frank and he is very gentle and very kind. Now what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at how to look after him. So that's how he gets up in the morning and how he has his teeth brushed, his face washed, his ears cleaned and how we feed him his food. Now to begin with, I'm going to go through some of his things. Okay, right, so to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to wash Frank's face with some face wipes. This is what I use every morning when he gets up. And what I do is I get one and I start to wipe his face. Now, this is the part where he normally runs away. Come on, Frank. Good boy, well done. Come on in. Good boy. Come on in. Good boy. Now, as you can see, he does not like this that much. And what we're going to do is we're going to wipe his face. Now, the special thing about pugs, boys and girls, is that they have flat noses. And as you can see, Frank has a very flat nose. And that's, so we have to make sure that his face is all nice and clean so he can breathe. So I'm going to get a wet wipe. And I'm just going to make sure his eyes are all clean. And we have to make sure they're clean because when he goes to sleep sometimes, he gets a bit of the sticky stuff in his eyes and we need to make sure it's nice and clean for him so that he can see. The next thing I'm going to clean is his rolls. Now, like I said, boys and girls, he has a flat nose. As you can see, it's very flat and he has all these things called rolls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull his roll back just like this and I'm just going to clean inside. Now, I have to do this because otherwise, if I didn't clean inside, it would not It would get very dirty and very stinky. And we don't want our doggies to have a stinky nose. And that's it done. There you go, Frank. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to clean his ears. Oh, sorry, Frank, are you tired? So we have to clean his ears. So the first thing we're going to do is lift his ear up with one hand, oh, and I'm going to put my finger in and give it a wiggle, just like this. Now Frank doesn't like his ears being cleaned, but we have to make sure they're nice and clean because otherwise they'll become stinky too. So I'm just going to do the other one. That's it, good boy Frank. That's it, all done. So when I finish with my wet white boys and girls, I put it in the bin and Frank runs away. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clean, give Frank a toothbrush. Now, he, it's a bit like me and you boys and girls. He uses a toothbrush and some toothpaste. But this is kind of special tap kind of toothpaste because this is liver flavour and it's a bit smelly. But for dogs, it's great because they love the taste of it. And just like me and you, they have to look after their teeth. So Frank, are you going to come and have your teeth brushed? Come on then. So I'm just going to put the toothpaste onto the toothbrush, just like that, just like me and you. Pull. Oh, come on then. Come on then. So this is Frank's treat for his boys and girls. And this is sometimes how this thing tricks Frank into coming and listening. Sometimes he doesn't listen. As you can see, he's coming in and he's sitting for Miss Thing. And I'm going to grab him. Right. So, like I said, I'm going to get the toothpaste and I'm going to put it into Frank's mouth. Now, Frank likes the taste of this, as you can see. So, he's quite used to this and he's quite good at doing this. So I'm just going to put it in his mouth, just like we would, and I'm going to try and brush his teeth. So I'm going to brush his teeth at the top, and then I'm going to try and brush his teeth at the bottom. While I'm doing this sometimes, he tries to chew the toothbrush. That's it. Good boy, Frank. And once 
once he's had that, that's his brushing done. So what we do then is we wash it ready to use again tomorrow. Now one thing about toothbrushing boys and girls, pugs only have their toothbrush once a day. So they're a bit different from me and you. They do not have their teeth brushed day and night. It's just in the morning once a day. So I'm just going to put that to one side. So Frank has had his toothbrush, his face wiped and his ears wiped. Now the next thing he needs is a brush. Now we have to brush doggy's coats, boys and girls, because it's making sure that they're all nice and soft. And the best thing about brushing your dog is that they quite like it. Sometimes it tickles them and it makes them makes their fur come off. So any fur that's a bit messy and a bit sticking out, it needs to come off. It's a bit like when we brush our hair. Dogs need their hair brushing too. So this brush is quite soft. It's quite bendy, so Frank won't feel it, and it's quite soft on his skin. So Frank, are you ready? Couple, cool. So what I do, boys and girls, I stand him up like this. I hold him by his collar gently, and then I give him a brush. Now Frank is quite used to this, because we do this every day. And you can brush your dogs as many times as you want in a day. I normally just brush Frank, though, once a day because I think that's more than enough. But if you want to, you can brush your pets more than once. So I brush all along his body, down his legs, and then I even brush on top of his head. And I do it all over on both sides, making sure that any fur is coming off. Okay, well done. So because he's had his face washed, his toothbrush, and his foam, and his ears cleaned and his toothbrush, we get to feed Frank his some treats. Now in his treat jar, he has got cheese biscuits, and these are special cheese biscuits for dogs. And these are Frank's favorite. Frank loves cheese. Are you ready? So what we do, boys and girls, when Frank is having a treat, he has to sit down. And when he sits down, it means that he is saying, please. So as you can see, Frankie sat down ready to give paw, which means please, which is like us when we give manners. So Frank is giving his manners by sitting down and giving me his paw. So Frank, good boy. Are you going to give me paw? Good boy, well done. So then I take a biscuit out and I give him one. And before I give him a biscuit, I say nicely. This makes sure that Frank does not snatch. So boys and girls, because he's had three things cleaned, we're going to count three biscuits. So that's one, stay, no, stay, good boy, two, three, no, good boy. As Frank loves cheese, that's why he's super excited and can't hold his excitement. So we're going to say please every time Frank is going to say please to me and give me his manners. So please. Nicely, good boy. Oh, that went down very quickly. So sit. Now, boys and girls, Miss Sing does this, and it means sit. So every time Miss Sing does this, Frank knows it means to sit. When I put my hand out flat, it means Frank has to give me paw, which means please. So please, good boy. Nicely, there you go. So it normally takes a couple of seconds to eat, doesn't last very long. Good boy, sit, good boy, wait. So boys and girls, when I hold my hand up like this, this means wait, Frank, which means he has to stay in the same place. Good boy. Paw, which means please, thank you. Good boy, Frank. Was that nice? Oh, yummy. Right, the next thing, boys and girls, we have to do is give Frank his food. Now, when I give Frank his food, I have to measure his food out. Now, we have to count three times to measure Frank's food because that's the amount of food he's allowed to have. And because he's a pug, which is a special type of dog, he can only have a certain amount of food a day. 
which means that if he eats more than what he should do, he's going to get quite chunky, and we don't want that, because it means that he would be really, really unsafe, and it means he would be very poorly, and we don't want doggies to be poorly, so we have to remember that we can only give dogs a small amount of food. So I get my scales, and these scales are electrical scales, which means that you can push a button and it tells you all the numbers. Now at home, mummies and daddies might have these for baking, or they might use the weighing scales, which you can put, the, put items in either side and they measure out, which we have at school. But Missing has this type of scales. So I'm going to put his metal bowl on top of the scales, and I'm going to get my hand, and I'm going to count three times of handfuls. So that's one, two, three. And that is more than enough food for Frank. So Frank has three handfuls of food. And what I then do, boys and girls, I then grab his big blue bowl, which is called a slow feeder bowl. And the reason why it's called a slow feeder bowl is because it stops dogs from eating their food really quickly so and really fast. So what I have to do is I pour the food in and these little bits inside the bowl stop Frank from eating his food really quickly. They get, it's a bit like a puzzle. So he has to move the food all around to get it out. A bit like a game really. So what I do is Frank is already sitting. Good boy. Wait. Good boy. So I'm going to put his food down and Frank's going to wait. Wait. Frank, please. Good boy. So Frank knows now that he can have his dinner. So Frank is going to have his dinner. And he'll normally take about a couple of minutes to eat his dinner. But in the meantime of while he's trying to eat his dinner, the next thing you have to remember to give your dog is some water. Now this is his water bowl. And you just have to fill it all the way up to the top to make sure Frank has some water to drink after he has finished his dinner. A bit like me and you when we have our lunch or have our dinner. We want something to drink. So I normally just pour some water in till about here and normally then he has some water to drink. Is that yummy Frank? So I hope you've had, I've had fun today learning about Frank and how to look after him and how to feed him. And I would love to see how you guys look after your pets at home. So if you have any pets at home, could you take a video and show us how you look after your pet and upload them to Tapestry so me and the rest of Beast of Fields team can see how you look after your pet. That would be great. And I hope to see you soon in some of our other fun facts about Frank. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.